throne, can you welcome from the United States Athletics team, John Drummond and Lawrence Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming in tonight, John. And you've been running over in the main stadium and we should have a look at your race right now. Oh. It's uh, here you go, you'll be able to see yourself. Maybe you haven't seen this before. Check on the... Yeah, here oh, you are, no, posing after what the race. like to see. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure whether this is before or after, but uh, the, obviously you've won there. I don't, I don't know whether we've got the race actually now that we look about it. The, the director was so taken by all of this. Yeah. You know what directors are like. Yeah. <laughs> look, that, that's fantastic. Yes. And um, the show business element shouldn't be denied in running though, should it? You no, know, definitely so, not. I no. think... Uh, you guys don't understand we expend so much energy and the emotion that we put into our race when we finally finish and actually achieve the goal. This is how we release it. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And it went on for a while tonight. It did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the air apparent. He's the air apparent. You know, John Drummond is the clown prince, but that's my air apparent. That's, that's right. the air apparent right there. Doesn't look as though we've got the race, but we've certainly it's got the right. aftermath. Yeah. That's all right. I've been at the race. race. <laughs> now, great guy. Last night we had Ad Atto on the show, and he thought that he would one day beat Maurice. Do you reckon he can? Oh, he has. He has. He has. He was the last person, in fact, to beat Maurice in Lausanne, Switzerland. Right. Unfortunately, I was in the hospital when that race happened, so... But, uh, you know, Maurice is, is human, and, I mean, he's an exceptional human. He's a phenomenon, I would say. He's a great person, and, I mean, he's really true to the game, true to the sport, and Otto Bolden the same, you know, great people. Hey, Otto, uh, since he said hi to me. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, great guys to work with, and I was just happy to, you know, take part in their life and their success. Now, you're a commentator as well, or I've seen you do some commentary, and you've done this great thing where, uh, you know, so you say the composers are a lot of rubbish in a race, and they all desperately want to actually get into the lead. Right. And what they do, they're all trying to correct what they're doing wrong. And um, you're the first person actually to come up with that, because commentators generally say, isn't so-and-so looking composed? Isn't Maurice looking composed? Isn't Otto looking composed? When it actually is, you're right. They're just working through what they have to do to get in front. You know, our coach teaches us on a constant, you know, what to do right, but the truth is, when we get to that start line, it's like, eh, so what? I want to win. <laughs> Forget all that stuff. Just run, man. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you do? I love that. I bet you do it once more before he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you? Uh, I, I noticed uh, with uh, uh, people who, who leap the bar, hate that bloody bar. Do you hate distance or do you hate time? I hate distance. You hate distance. I can't control time. There's no control yeah. over time, but I hate distance. And Lawrence, do you hate the bar? Days like today, I hate the bar. You hate the bar. <laughs> I, mean, I, hate, I hate the yeah. bar. Hate the bar oh, because yeah. some people can hit the bar, yes. and the bar will jump and come back, and it'll sit and yeah. stay, and then other people will come through, be way over the bar, and, and it still and it still fall. Yeah, I hate that. It's, it's, it's kind of difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you think it hate when you're about to go, when you're about to unleash down, you think it, I hate that. There's, there's a lot of things you're thinking. You know, I, I wanted to get you all caught up on a few pole vaulting terms, so the yeah, next yes. time you kind of commentate and you can oh, yes. kind of add some of those things in. Please. For instance, <laughs> Please. Um, we have one that's, um, we have a lot of these techniques, some of them you've seen here in Sydney, some of them a little hard, so you haven't quite seen all of them, like yep. um, uh, pick the berries. You know, when you come running down the end of the runway, you play at the pole, you get up over the top of the pole, and you sit on the top of the pole mm. as you're going into the pit. That's called picking the berries. Now, if you make a mistake, it's called stabbing the gopher. No, that, the that, yeah, that doesn't feel too much. So, yeah, you, you got to be careful with that. You got to really watch for the pros. So, you know. That, <laughs> is that there? I love it. Is that there? I want to take that but, home. But Lawrence, how many how many berries would you pick? <laughs> You know, I think if you have any more than a couple berries to yes. pick, I think you're, you're probably in, you're in, in some kind of trouble. You, know? <laughs> you might be in the wrong event. You might want to check another profession or something. Right, okay. And the I'm other sure is stabbing I, the gopher. Was that it? Stabbing, stabbing, stabbing the gopher. The gopher. Stabbing okay. the gopher. Okay. We don't have terms in, in no, sprints. No. 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 In, the, in the pole vault the other one, night, uh, the one. pole did damage one of the, one of the jumpers, yeah. the leapers, at the, right at the top of the jump. Mm. Um, he caught the pole with his cruets, as we'd say in Australia. Right. Uh, 
Did that send a shudder up your spine? Well, you know, that's not one of the things you like to see, especially <laughs> if you're the next one down the right. <laughs> You know, but, uh, yeah, it, it, it can definitely hurt, you know. There's, there's some things that just aren't meant to be, and, you know, having a pole thrust in certain places is, is not one of them. He obviously picked too many berries. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you see a good performance, and, and people often say uh, of a good performance, that it was sort of what they call an out-of-body performance, meaning they could see themselves do it. Now, mm. have you ever had that experience, and have you seen it happen to someone? So as you oh. see, see Maurice running down the track, and then all of a sudden there's another Maurice upstairs <laughs> going with him. <laughs> 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 you know, I had experience. Yeah. <laughs> but it was actually Maurice running down the track. <laughs> yeah. Um, the out-of-body experiences, yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. I think the, um, well, last, the, I guess, winning the silver medal, was wasn't quite an out of body experience. I think um, the next out of body or the out of body experience I've experienced is winning the gold in yes. 2004. Yes. Um, oh, that hasn't happened. Yet. That hasn't happened. No. 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 That's so, called um, prophecy premonition. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. well I no, guess no, I haven't had an out of body <laughs> experience. And how about you, John? Uh, I think I've experienced it tonight. You know, once the relay was over and we actually got to stick around, it was like. Hey, we actually got to stick around. Yeah, yeah right. So it was an yes, out of body no, experience. Right. Rather than somebody else sticking around right, after you've done roughly the right. same. Yes. Or picking the bears. <laughs> yeah, picking the bears. <laughs> Look, uh, we, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier on in the program. Uh, we were re re reacting to an article written by uh, Wallace Matthews, uh, an American journalist, who suggested that Americans are hated by Australians. And yet, when you arrived tonight, you were saying what a terrific time you were having and how much loved you felt. Now, what's going on here? Who's right? <laughs> well, I'll say this. In, in, in much respects to all the volunteers mm. and all the people who gave up their time here, I would say we have had the warmest reception mm -hmm. that I've ever experienced. I was in Atlanta in 96, and I mean, mm. you know, America, they mm. treated us beautifully, but mm. I think the fact that you guys don't take yourself so serious mm -hmm. and you guys are so laid yeah, back, definitely. Mm. you definitely. help us enjoy ourselves. And I'll say this. If it wasn't for this show, I'd probably be the gold medalist because I sat up so many nights and watched it <laughs> <laughs> and laughed. <laughs> it's your fault. I gotta blame somebody. You're the blame. But I'm telling you, you guys are awesome. Yeah. And I'm stuff. serious, man. I mean, you guys help the athletes. I'm sure athletes all over the village that are watching this are saying to themselves, if it weren't you, for you guys, allowing us to not take ourselves so serious, because we, again, we spend so much energy, mental energy, not the physical, because that's what we do. But so much mental, we needed a comic relief, and you guys have been there for us. <laughs> you guys and Tim Tams, and what's that chocolate ice cream bar I like? What's the ice cream bar, the chocolate ice cream bar? Magnums. Not them, the other one. The Egos. Put up, put up it. No. Pedal Pops. No, that's Pedal it. Pops. Pedal Pops. That's Pedal Pops. what's up. Life's favorite for John Drummond, boy. They made me forget about fifth place in a hundred. And look, we promise not to come to Athens, so as you'll be able to get gold. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, look, thanks very much for coming in this evening. And uh, on behalf of everybody connected with the dream, we'd like you to get your hands on these yeah, fabulous yeah, mementos. I'm going to cry. I'll be yeah, time in Sydney. Sydney. I wanted this and more than the gold medal. <laughs> 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 I got mine. Thank you. Thank you. I got mine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have to explain that uh, John's come straight from Stadium Australia and he hasn't even had a shower yet. I apologize if I'm offending anybody. Uh, no, I'm right. holding my breath over here. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Keep holding it. To it. Yeah. Well, can, can I say on behalf of all Australians that yeah. Americans are always welcome yes. here yes. because we might, we might object to certain things en masse, but individually you are always <laughs> <laughs> most engaging people. And well. thank you please much. thank John Drummond and Lawrence Johnson. And before you go, oh, can you just yes, grab the, the little bloke oh. and give us one of those familiar chants that you hear everywhere? Adi, adi, adi! Oi, oi, oi! I love that! Yeah, there you go. <laughs>